Hi, and thanks for watching this online demonstration of James Hardy Linear Weatherboards. Today I'm going to show you the different ways of finishing James Hardy Weatherboards on internal and external corners. Before we get started, let's make sure that we have all the correct tools. Nail gun and correct specification nails, sealant for use at the tongue and groove joint, cut edge sealer, a spirit level, drill and drill bit, hammer and story rod, dust reducing circular saw and hardy blade, associated accessories including internal corners, external corners, can strip and scribers. To form the corner soaker detail, install the weatherboard on either side of the corner as explained in the earlier linear installation video. Cut the end of the weatherboard with a 15mm splay to fit them correctly into the soaker. Select the correct size and type of corner soaker required for the project. Fit the corner soaker under the lap of two weatherboards and fix through the top of the soaker into the stud. Continue installing the next row of weatherboards and fit corner soakers in a similar pattern. To form the box corner detail, install the weatherboard on either side of the corner to full height as explained in the earlier linear installation video. Now pick the 84 by 100 mm wide accent trims to form a 100 by 100 box corner. Fit these trims over linear weatherboard and fix through into the timber studs. You must pre-drill the nail holes before fixing a correct specification jolt head nail. Finish the nail 2 mm below the board surface. Now fix the timber scribers to either side of the trim. The scribers are fixed using a correct specification jolt head nail through a pre-drilled hole. In order to form an aluminium box corner detail, position the box corner with correct overhang that suits the installation layout of the weatherboards. Fix the aluminium box corner using the correct length hardy flex nail into the studs. Now start the installation of linear weatherboard as explained in the linear installation video. Weatherboards on either side of the corner are butt into the aluminium box corner to form the aluminium box corner detail. The cut edges butting into the aluminium box corner must be sealed before installation. In order to form an aluminium W internal corner detail, position the W mold corner with the correct overhang that suits the installation layout of the weatherboards. Fix the aluminium W internal corner using correct length hardy flex nails into studs. Now start the installation of linear weatherboard as explained in the linear installation video. Weatherboards on either side of the corner are butt into the aluminium box corner to form the aluminium box corner detail. The cut edges butting into the aluminium W internal corner must be sealed before installation. Thanks for watching this online demonstration. For further detailed information, please refer to our James Hardy Linear Weatherboard Technical Manual.